Hey y'all. So last week we took a look at Unity Asset Manager within Unity Cloud. One of the things that I glossed over is that the Unity Asset Manager has some integrations with other tools, such as the Unity Editor, as I showed, that can pull down from UAM, as well as the Pixie Studio integration, as well as the Blender integration. The Blender integration is the one that everyone can get to out there publicly. So the way that you're going to get to that is by going into your Unity Cloud dashboard from within here, navigating to Asset Manager. You can also do so by going to Quick Access up here and going to Asset Manager. I'm now looking at my 3D assets and I can come down to the bottom here where it says Integrations. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to come down into, we have Pixie Studio with Asset Manager we have Unity Cloud Python SDK, and we have Unity Asset Manager for Blender. So within the Python SDK, I'm going to hit Open Blender Sample. So that's taking me over to this GitHub repository, and let's read this together very quickly. So this Blender add-on allows you to integrate Unity Cloud Asset Manager service within your Blender workflow. The repository open sources the code of that add-on so that you can get inspired by it or build on top of it. So that's very cool. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just come up to the code and I'm going to download the zip. Uh, yes, there are other ways to go about this, but just for the sake of demonstration, this is what I intend to do today. So I'm going to take that zip and extract it. I'm going to browse and over in tools, I have Unity Cloud Asset Manager for Blender 050. So what I'm going to do is unzip to this same tools folder. And I believe it'll be a new version of this. And let's take a look. So here I have Unity Cloud Asset Manager for Blender dash main. And I want to take a look at the documentation now. So we'll get into some very basic uh, command line code here. So in scrolling down, we have, how do I build the add-on? So we have run pack dash add-on dot pi script to create the zip file that can be installed. So it says here that we want to CD into dot slash scripts. So basically I'm going to double click on this. And I can do this two different ways. Um, so for those of you that don't know, command line scripting and whatnot. I can right click here and open in terminal, which will open this in Windows PowerShell. From here, I could do the first line, which is cd dot slash scripts, as I mentioned. So I can either type this in, or I could have copied and pasted that. Ah, see, there's already an error that's returned. So I need to make sure that I have a space there. So cd space dot slash scripts. And now you can see it's taken us to a different folder location. The other way to go about this is just to close this out, go straight into the scripts folder, right click and open the terminal from here. And it will already navigate to where the scripts are. From here, we want to run this exact script. So I'm going to copy by control C and then control V. And then let's look at what else it tells us to do. So we have DW for download Unity Cloud Python SDK dependency. We have LW for specify a local folder to copy the Unity Cloud Python SDK dependency from. So I do not have a local folder for that dependency. So I'm going to do space dash DW to download. Then we have output which would be dash O, specify a folder to save the add-on archive in. By default, it will create a distribution folder at the root of the repo. So we'll just leave that. We don't need to specify because we'll let it create that dist. Then we have dash OS, which will specify the target platform, which is by default all. So really all that we need to type in here is this DW. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to do exactly what I need in the background. And it's going to run all of this for me. And now it says it has created a zip file that will be our plugin inside of tools, this main folder, dist, and then the, the blender zip. So we're all good there. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. 
open up the main folder here and see that there's a dist folder that when I go into has this plugin. So let's go ahead and open up Blender. I'm going to go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and then I want to find this main. Go into that, go into the dist, and select that zip and hit Install Add-on. And check that on, and we are good to go. So from here, I can go into Unity Cloud and hit Log In. So that's going to come up here right in the top menu. Unity Cloud, Log In. I'm going to allow the login request. So now I can return to my app. It says Login Completed. All right, so we now have Unity Cloud. It is logged into. We have Upload FBX to Asset Manager. One thing that I did was open a new scene just to put a camera and a light in here. Uh, it's not necessarily required, but I believe that part of what is being launched when we hit upload here is the creation of a preview. Um, so I'm leaving in the camera so that we get an angle for the preview and I'm leaving in the light so that the preview is lit. So it actually makes sense. I've uploaded a version of this previously without the light and it just doesn't come through in a way that makes a lot of sense. So what I want to do is hit add mesh and monkey. Um, just as a, a nice iconic piece of 3D data. And then through our camera, that looks fine to me. Maybe I'll scale him down just a little bit so that he fits within the camera window. That's fine. And let's come over to Unity Cloud and hit Upload FBX to Asset Manager. From here, I can specify my organization. I can then specify my project of 3D assets. And just remember that we're getting to our project by seeing the projects within Unity Asset Manager here. So I have testing, I have 3D assets, and then we have the external library of all of the materials that we looked at in our last video. So I want to push this to 3D assets. You can see the monkey here that does not have any lighting. And I want to name this monkey with lighting for preview. And we're going to call this monkey head asset in Blender. And we're going to tag this 3D model so that we can easily search later. And I'm going to turn off embedding materials because we don't really need that, or embedding textures rather. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Everything is going to pause for a quick moment while it's doing the back end needed. And it's now going to pull up a Chrome window for me that has our Unity organization and project pulled up. When it launches this, I'm then going to be able to see my monkey with the preview. We'd probably want to light that a bit better if we really wanted the preview to stick, but as is, this works great. So now I have info, I have comments I can add, files, so the FBX is what's been pushed and the PNG has been generated for us. Then we have history if we want to push multiple different versions. So what do we do with that? The best thing to do is going to be to go into editor, pull that straight in using UAM, and show that workflow straight from Blender to UAM into a project. So I'll see you over in Unity. All right, so here we are inside of our scene in Unity 6. So this is the HDRP template scene, as many of you can tell, I'm sure. So our nice gold sphere with our third person avatar that can move around. And what I see immediately is my monkey with lighting. If you want to see how to get Unity Asset Manager pulled into Unity Editor, I have a previous video that I'll link in the description. Very straightforward. Um, but now that I have it here and I'm logged in, I can see my 3D assets and my testing projects that belong within my org. I can grab this monkey. And once it pulls up, I can click the import button. And it's now going to import that FBX for me. And I see a monkey with lighting folder. Open that and I see that a camera and a light came through. And then Suzanne, the monkey, is here. I'm going to pull Suzanne up and into my scene. And then I'm going to move Suzanne up. And of course, if I want to move the pivot, I could use either Pixie's plugin, or I could do something like create an empty, and then put Suzanne within the empty. And now I can go into the pivot and move Suzanne down here. 
All right, and let's say I wanted to take this large material ball and upload that. I can drag it down here into my assets so it's inside of the project hierarchy. And I can now pull it over into here to upload. And then I'll be able to upload assets and it will now begin that push. So now all of this is going to go up to UAM because I have this window open. And now I can see it over in the UAM window along with the monkey head that we just pushed from Blender. So that all looks good. It's all pushed up. And now I can come back into UAM and see all of that here. So now we have the material saved. We have the model. So you can see how this workflow works really well, forward and backwards. Uh, right now, I don't believe there's any import into Blender from UAM, uh, just the export, but this idea of kind of a unified workflow methodology is really helpful, even if working in one direction for now. Uh, the cool idea of all of this stuff is with the integrations. The thought is that you can create any type of import export as needed for your type of use case. So we could keep iterating on this. Hopefully that's helpful to look at in a quick video, short and sweet. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.